Hi, my name is Allison, and I'm gonna show you guys my accepted art school portfolio. Because I watched a lot of these videos when I was putting my portfolio together, so I just thought it would be helpful. Some things to note before I get into it are that it's likely that my grades are the factor that got me accepted to a lot of these schools, because I did have a pretty high GPA, and I didn't take any art classes in high school besides a graphic design class. But yeah, let's get into my portfolio. So my portfolio was 20 pieces, and it was mostly, well not mostly, it was half observational pieces, at least for the one I submitted to SVA. Here's my first piece, it's a still life of a skeleton. Not much to say about it, this is just a skeleton that my teacher had lying around in my graphic design classroom. A lot of the still lifes I did were specifically for this portfolio, so there's really no like deeper meaning behind them, I just needed to show my technical skill. Here's one of a bunch of stuff that's on my desk. Once again, this is just to show technical skill. I did some blending in this one, which I don't do in a lot of my other pieces. Here's another one of mostly the same objects on my desk, which I didn't blend. This one's more sketchy, just to have some variation. This one's a self-portrait that I did looking in the mirror. I added the blue watercolor background just so there wouldn't be a ton of empty space, but I don't think it really works. I also don't really like this drawing, I don't think it's a very good portrait, but you know. Gotta have all those observational pieces. Here's where I really kind of started to check out. This is just a still life of a rolled up piece of paper. It's pretty simple. I liked the blending I did, but it's a piece of paper, not much to say about it. This is a still life of two, like, plastic block letters that my graphic design teacher had lying around. My graphic design teacher really wanted us to, like, do still lifes so that we'd have the skills required to do graphic design, and these were some of the stuff she had. It was on the background of like a shiny fabric, but you can't really tell because I wasn't good at this. This is a figure drawing that I did because I took a figure design, not a class really, more like a session with a live model. I went to a few of those but I only put two figure drawings in my actual portfolio because I wasn't super great at them. This is a 10 minute one. I don't... Yeah, I didn't put very much detail in because once again it's only 10 minutes. This is the only time I used charcoal in my portfolio. Most of the other realism I've done is in graphite. Here's the other figure drawing. This one is 30 minutes, so I added like the chair and the background and stuff. And there's like a lot more shading going on. And this is the only painting I included, the only physical painting. Still life of some random cherub statue that my graphic design teacher had. My graphic design class is responsible for most of this realism in this portfolio. I really don't know why I chose these colors. These were not the actual colors of either the background or the cherub, but you know, gotta have some color in one of these, I guess. Now we're getting into my digital art, the part I actually care about. This is a drawing of my living room. I added a horror element, and I really like using contrasting colors in digital painting. This is one of like, I think, three digital paintings I had in my portfolio but it's definitely my favorite one. This one is a digital painting of my uncle's house in New York, and um, really not much to say about this one. It was referenced from a photograph, and I actually didn't do it specifically for the portfolio. He like asked me to do it. And this is my last still life. It's of a bunch of grapes, and it's digital. 
I didn't take very long on this one. I think this was only an hour or two. I like painting on my iPad a lot more than I like painting in real life. <laughs> and here is my actual personal work. This is a drawing of a comic concept I had. I included a very lengthy description of it in slide room, but I don't feel like describing it here. It's just concept work for a comic that I never ended up making. I really liked the lighting I did. I thought that was cool. That's why I included it. I thought it was a good focal point. Here's another one. This is another background illustration. This one's a lot older than most of the pieces in my portfolio. It's from early 2020. Once again, you got those complementary colors in there. I really don't like the way I did the characters, but I wasn't going to go back and fix it because I did it over two years ago now. I think I referenced The Sims for this one. I like took a screenshot of The Sims and I referenced it. <laughs> Here's another digital painting. This one is of another comic concept that I didn't make. I really wanted to draw a subway because I was like all hyped up to apply to college in New York and I was like, I want to ride the subway. So I drew the subway. This is a piece I did for my graphic design class. I did it in Adobe Illustrator. It's a vector illustration. This is actually fan art for a TV show called Twin Peaks, but I, obviously I didn't tell them that when I applied. I just pretended it was original. This is some more personal work. These are just my OCs. This is actually a redraw of a lot older, a lot older of a piece. I'll put it up here. And I didn't, I was originally going to put the old one in the portfolio, but I was like, nah, this is just too old. So then I just completely redid it. I added it because I thought the perspective was cool and the lighting. There's another illustration of my OCs, which is what most of the pieces are. Once again, I thought the lighting was cool in this one. And I don't have, I mean, most of the illustrations in this portfolio have backgrounds, but this one had the characters actually like interacting with the backgrounds, which I thought was cool. You see him gripping the steering wheel. Here's a character sheet, more comic concept work. Um, this was the first time I did a character turnaround. I thought it turned out pretty okay, so I put it in. I thought this was like all professional looking, so I put it because I wanted to show them that I could do what I was gonna go to college for. Here's in full illustration with the character from the turnaround. I really liked the colors in this one and like the flat shapes sort of and I wanted to show that I could like put the character I designed in a background and yeah that's all the pieces from my portfolio. I actually added and subtracted some depending on what school I was applying to. So this one it was for SBA specifically so it had more observational work than the one I submitted for MICA and UARTS. I felt like this was a good portfolio to show y'all because it's very like middle of the road compared to the ones you'll see on YouTube. Like you see most people have like really fancy oil paintings about like their deep thoughts or something. I don't really have any of that but turns out you don't need that to get accepted. I just wanted y'all to know that. Thank you for watching and goodbye.